Back in the 70s, the legendary power hitter was the quickest, easiest, and most fun way to extract the maximum potential and enjoyment from the joint. I am Alan. With the help and support of my lovely wife, Daphna, we felt compelled to elevate the lives of other cannabis users by reintroducing the most incredible smoking device you'll ever have the pleasure of using, the power hitter. When I was in college, I discovered this crazy thing from a friend's older brother in the parking lot at a Grateful Dead show. I'd never seen anything like it. He called it the power hitter, and it blew my mind. It was so fun and easy to use. All you do is roll one up, you light it, you put it inside the cap, you cover the car bowl, and you squeeze. It blasted me with a steady stream of smoke. It was my first power hit. I knew I had to have one, and as fate would have it, my friend's older brother gifted me his at the end of the show. In the next 10 years, I took my power hitter everywhere. It was a conversation starter and always the life of the party until it blew out the sea in St. Martin. Devastated, I searched for a replacement for over a decade. I tried to make my own, but it was an utter failure. I bought a knockoff online, the cherry fell off, and burned a hole in the bottom. Disappointed but still motivated, I kept searching. Finally, an eBay listing ended my search. I found two of them and paid 250 bucks a piece. And almost instantly, I had an epiphany. Hey, Daphne here, Alan's wife. My husband ordered two power hitters off eBay for 250 bucks a piece. Typical Alan. Now he was talking about it shouldn't be this hard to find or be this expensive. In the time frame of about a day, I realized this was really happening. And that began the process to reintroduce power hitters to the world. Alan was frantic, but in a good way. Throwing caution into the wind, I told him I'm in. I began speaking with everyone I could to gauge interest in the project. So many people were excited to try them and said, they would buy one if we had them to sell. The response kind of blew me away. So now I was sold on the product, not only by the positive response, but by how many people express nostalgic memories. We were definitely on the right track. Lots of research and development went into the making of the first prototype. We needed it to squeeze properly and ensure our cherry popping off wouldn't burn a hole in the body. After a ton of work and testing, we were ready. Then in 2017, our first 500 came in. Alan took most of them to the High Times Cannabis Cup and we sold out. Most every joint smoking person we came in contact with blatantly loved the power hitter. We were out of stock, but motivated more than ever. Of course, Alan believed with some tweaks, we could make it even better. We had serious work to do. It wasn't cheap or easy to improve on a nearly perfect product, but we did it. The power hitter is what it is. It's that rare thing that brings people together because it's fun. We wanted it to take huge hits and be immediately ready to hit again and again. The molds and tooling revisions were numerous and costly. We had to get them just right, and we did. We found that magic formula. We built the perfect joint smoking device that works even better than the original. We produced the final product in October. Only a thousand were made, and we sold out in just over three weeks. To top it all off, 20 stores picked up our product. Hundreds of people Googled us and found our website that still hadn't fully launched. That was the most insane part to Daphne and I. We started getting emails from people telling us how much they loved it. So we took a huge leap of faith and reinvested everything and ordered more, 5,000 more to be exact. Zach? Now Daphne was the one that was frantic. The problem was, we sold out all our inventory. I mean, it's the best and worst kind of problem to have, I guess. We really needed to be smart about the next steps. Cash flow was now an issue. We had enough to reinvest and order more for the holiday season, but we just ordered new molds for future versions. And we've been approached by big brands, head shops, and others to do co-branded collaborations. I looked at Alan and said, where are we going to get money for that? We need to sell the 5000 we ordered, which are supposed to arrive on December 15th. So that led to contacting our good friend Jonathan. He already knew what we were working on. He and Alan bonded over the power hitter. His immediate response without missing a beat was, you need to set up a crowdfunding campaign ASAP. Alan and I looked at each other like, crowdfunding? What? Could it really work? We were definitely intrigued. Jonathan explained how it could help us through our cash flow issue. The way he broke it down made sense. It sounded like a no-brainer. He walked us back through our history. Alan, remember the first power hitter at the Dead Show and you knew you had to have one? Daphna, remember when you first started to gauge interest and overwhelmingly it blew people away? Now both of you think about the Cannabis Cup and the results from that. You sold out. The end result was people got on your list and waited for about a year and a half and actually bought them when they became available. Also, 20 stores picked them up and sold out and even more promising were the nearly 700 you sold through your website with no advertising 
using zero social media and no marketing whatsoever. You know what that tells me? There is a crazy demand for the power header. There's an entire generation that vividly and fondly remembers having one. Then there's the people that found you through Google and the others that haven't yet thought to search. I also believe if they knew power hitters were available now, they would want one too. We haven't even mentioned the people who are old enough to legally smoke now, but have no clue power hitters ever existed. The experience today is exactly like Alan's. Like he said, it's a conversation starter wherever you go and regularly becomes the life of the party. It draws people in and brings them together because it's fun. This is about as ideal any situation could be for crowdfunding. You got an excellent product. You've proven there's demand. There's a real emotional connection that many people feel. The timing is excellent. You have 5,000 power headers on order that can be delivered to supporters by Christmas. That is so huge. It's a great story. And that's why you need to set up a crowdfunding campaign ASAP. Well, we took Jonathan's advice and we did it. So we're here today asking for your support. Please help us reintroduce the power hitter. It's up to you. Please pick one up for yourself and join the power hitter movement. Give and get good karma. Go ahead. Get one for yourself and one for your friend. Get more if you have lots of friends. If you don't have friends, you need to get one because it'll definitely help you get new friends. <laughs> Back us whatever you can afford. Anything helps. Share this page in our story with your cannabis smoking friends and their friends and their friends too.